So hi guys, my name is Elena Hill. I'm the host of The Engaged Core. The Engaged Core is a podcast as well as now a video series um, that I'm doing more for teachers and students. And our goal really is to kind of unlock the importance of teacher and student relationships. Um, I know as a teacher, I've been teaching for 17 years, so I know as a teacher that um, everything that I do in the class can transfer to a student in either a positive or negative way, right? And that is a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. And it's even more stressful when you think about the fact that I don't know whether or not my students are even getting anything out of what I'm doing. I know that I'm working hard. I know that I'm stressed about them getting everything. I know that I'm being intentional with what I'm doing. But I always wonder, does this matter? So here's what I did. I decided that I would actually reach out to my former students. Why this year? Because honestly, this year I need to hear more than any other year that I am doing the a good thing. I am doing the right thing. I am doing what is necessary for students to feel um, supported and encouraged and inspired. And so, yeah. We all know Corona really does suck and it really changed everything about how I teach. Like nothing is the same. I used to be able to wing things. I can't do that anymore. I got to go in intentional because I'm teaching hybrid, which means I'm teaching an in-person class and a virtual class at the same time. Um, Students who I connect with on a daily basis, I get online and they're like this. And it's just something about that camera that takes the energy from them. And I'm like, I just need to talk to you. We need to see each other. We need to laugh. We need to make fun of each other. We need to have a ball. And kids are like, and I give this great lesson. I'm like, oh, this is going to be awesome. They're going to love this. We're going to play this game and it's going to give them the education that they need. And then they're like, (laughs) I'm not exaggerating. This is how it goes. So I needed to know this year, okay, number one, you're a good teacher. Number two, it's all right to be lost. Number three, that students really are still getting it, even though you don't feel like that. So this podcast is for teachers. Um, This podcast and video log is for teachers and students alike. So both of you can get something out of it. For a teacher, it's kind of a reminder, a reassurance that our students really are getting what we're giving to them even if we don't feel like they are. And so it's important for us to be intentional. It's important for us to be thoughtful. It's important for us to be accountable to what we do in a class. So, um, and then for dancers, what I ended up doing was I ended up reaching out to all of my old students, right? And what they ended up telling me was, by the way, you are a great teacher, which I know that sounds really self-serving, but I needed to hear this year. Um, but also some of the things that you did in class, even if there were things that were challenging at the time or that were easy at the time, some of the things that you did in class really resonated with me today. And so um, they made those connections for me. It allowed me to say, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm doing something right. And then also... There were so many nuggets of information that I'm like, kids need to hear this, right? Because I know I've been a dancer, right? So I guess I still am a dancer, theoretically. Um, so I know that it's a, it's, dance is hard. I mean, that's just where we are. It is not an easy thing. I say all the time, it's called a discipline for a reason. It requires so much physical, emotional, and, um, physical, emotional investment. Like it's just tough, right? And I think it's important that you, on this journey, you have people that are uplifting you consistently or people who've been there who can say, okay, this is what happened when I did this. I felt like giving up and this is what I did in order to not give up. Um, And I believe that this stuff will transfer to you. Beyond that, my students are just great. I mean, that's just the reality. I've been really, really lucky to have some amazing, amazing students. Um, And I've learned a ton from them. And I'm glad to know that they learned something from my class as well. So they're entertaining. You're going to love it. There's no doubt about it. They're going to tell you some things that are going to really, really impact your life and your your dance life extremely positively. So 
definitely stick around. Um, you're going to love this show. But I need you to do me a thing, right? You've got to press the subscribe button. I will release episodes weekly, but you might have some bonus sprinkling. And if you don't subscribe, you're not going to know when it's available. So subscribe. Um, but also, and this is really important in a year where getting into a studio is tough. Like it's hard to even get into a studio this year. So I'm going to give you guys some activities that you can do at home that are super fun and will help you to kind of enjoy dance and remember why you're doing this. Um, I'm going to add to that. If you can get in a class, even if it's virtual, you need to be in a class. There's really no reason to not take a dance class. Most studios at this point have figured out how to work virtually. So um, it might feel different and that's okay. This year is different. I think that one of the things that we're going to learn is that Everything is going to be different, but it can be a new normal. And the only way that we can't, a new great normal, like, right? Like, we don't want to just go back to what we did before because maybe that wasn't working. Maybe there are things that you did in class that you didn't really enjoy. Like, so your teachers are thinking and they're trying to be now, let's be intentional about what we're giving kids, right? And so studios have figured this out and they have, they have you. That's it. They have you. They know how to educate you regardless of the mode, right? So get into a class, get into a class, get into a class, virtual classes. It's fine. You can do it. But in the event that you can't, for whatever reasons, I'm going to give you some tools and some activities that you can do at home that will keep you like either in shape for dance or keep you encouraged or um kind of spark your creativity. Um, and I want you to do them because I want to share them with our viewers. Um, with that being said, again, what are you going to do first? You're going to press subscribe. You got to do that, right? Um, and then you can share this out to your friends. It'd be fun to do. Dance is so much fun with friends, right? It's so much better with friends. So share it to your friends. Um, you can kind of do some of the challenges together. But either way, this is going to be a great place for you to check in. I am so glad to know that as a teacher, I can connect to students beyond the ones in my classroom. And so I look forward to being another teacher for you in some ways um and feel free to call me miss elena miss hill elena all of them work for me <laughs> i'm just looking forward to getting to know you so thanks for joining us and i can't wait to see you in class soon